March is a great time to start applying pre-emerge herbicides in corn in some situations and we wanted to talk today about which situations you can apply herbicide in and which ones you should definitely avoid. One of the most frustrating things for any farmer is that everything happens at once. Oh man, it's spring and I got a plant and I got to get on fertilizer and I got to get on herbicide and I'm only one guy. How am I going to get all these jobs done at the same exact time? Well, you don't have to do them all at the same time. And one of the jobs that you can get done a little bit early is putting on your pre-herbicide, especially when we're talking about early season grass and small seeded broadleaf control. You can get that taken care of as soon as the ground starts thawing out, get those products out there so when it's time to plant, you can just plant. So here's what we've done on our farm for many years. Where we farm in South Dakota, usually March is a time where the snow is pretty much gone. We've got in the mornings, the ground is fairly hard. It's relatively frozen, but then in the afternoons, it thaws out. So we'll go out there in the morning while the ground is still hard, spray the herbicide. Then in the afternoons, when the ground thaws out, the herbicide's able to attach itself to soil so we don't have to worry about that herbicide running off and it works out pretty well. It does spread our workload out when we can get out there and spray in March because obviously we're not going to be planting any corn or soybeans or for that matter even wheat in mid-March. Okay we'll talk about the products that we use but first I wanted to mention because maybe some of you are already thinking wait a minute in March I don't want to worry about my spray booms freezing up. I'll have icicles hanging off those booms some nights and you know you sure could run into some times where the nights get fairly cool. So there's a couple different things you could do. One thing you could do is use something like Liquid 28% as your carrier for many of the different herbicides out there. Liquid 28% doesn't freeze like water does so you'd have a little bit of insurance there. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your tanks and booms are all flushed out at the end of the day if you have to leave that sprayer outside. This way you can avoid having some of those issues with freeze up and you can keep going right away the next day. Or if you want to do like we do, we put the sprayer in the heated shop at night. Then we don't have to worry about that overnight stuff, but we are using fertilizer as a carrier. When we start talking about early pre-emerge herbicide application, I just wanted to tell you some things that you should avoid. So. First of all, you want to make sure that the ground you're going to spray your pre-emerge herbicide on is not going to flood out in the spring. And if you have some ground that'll flood, just avoid that. Spray that later on, right at planting time or right around planting time. The ground you want to spray now is ground that you know for sure you're going to get planted this spring and you know for sure you can plant early because that's the next thing. Unless you plant your crop early, you're counting on that herbicide to do that much more work. What I'm saying here is, if you can plant your crop early, where you put that early pre-emerge herbicide on, you're going to get crop canopy sooner in the season, and crop canopy is the very best weed killer there is. It's even better than herbicide. So we want to put the early pre-emerge herbicide on, then plant the crop early, then we get that early crop canopy, and we don't have to worry about late season weed pressure because we had that early crop canopy. Now one other time saving tip. We get so many questions of in season applications. Oh, can I cut back how much spray volume I'm using? I don't want to use 15 gallons or 10 gallons. I want to cut that back here is where you can cut that back. All you need to do with these pre-products is get good coverage and guess what? We're dealing for the most part with clean soil. We don't have lots of plants that are up yet so we don't have to worry about getting great coverage on all this foliage. We just have to get good coverage on the soil. Now you may have some residue out there and that's fine too but you don't have to use 15 gallons of water to get great coverage. In many cases you could end up using five gallons of water, maybe even a little bit less maybe a little bit more if you think you need it to get good coverage. All right, let's talk about which products you can actually use early in the season. Quite frankly, you can use just about anything in corn, dual, outlook, harness, surpass, they'll all work fine for March application. Now, if we talk about soybeans, Treflan and Sonalan are gonna be out because you would have to work those in instantly. The only one that you can use real early in the season when we talk about the true grass products would be Prowl. When we go to the broadleaf products, things like Authority Assist or Valor could be used, but the manufacturers typically want you to wait until a little later because Valor and Authority Assist both have good burn down activity. So the manufacturers usually want you to spray those around planting time so you can burn down whatever weeds are there at the time. I guess I kind of look at it the other way. If I've got the pre-emerge herbicide out early, I get a little rain on it over the next month or two, then it's going to hold those weeds back so I don't ever have to burn them down anyway. So my advice to you 
would be at least take a few of your acres on your farm and try some early pre-emerge herbicide. Whether it's in corn or soybeans, it will spread your workload out for you. And then you're really going to thank me when it comes planting time and you've got just a little bit less work to do. Or maybe your wife will thank me because you can actually be in the house at night instead of out in the fields. Well, we talked about a lot of products here and how to get them on, but we didn't answer the question if any of those will control our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about that coming up next.